Hello there friends and fans. Today I'm going to show you how to make a chicken curry. However, the steps and the procedure is the same as we made lamb curry. But still I will do a refreshment to your minds. Um, so I have here one medium onion well chopped. One teaspoon garlic paste and half teaspoon um, ginger paste half teaspoon um, coriander powder and a pinch of uh, turmeric powder salt as needed I have zira here and a couple of covels and I already seasoned my chicken after I washed it and I dried it it's seasoned with uh, curry powder and a little uh, just one tablespoon of uh, vinegar uh, regular or um, uh, apple vinegar uh, I did season it last night uh, the reason why I did season it because it's going to be cooked faster and I frying pan I add three tablespoon of cooking oil here and I'm turning my oven or stove and the first step I will add onion on the oil and let it to get a little bit uh, melted in the oil so the onion is ready to go and add the rest of our ingredients here so the next step I will add jira with cloves here I let it to be a little fry in the oil because as I said previously uh, if we fry a little bit the jira we will get the best taste and the best smell of zira in our dishes. And then I'm going to add the meat now. Slowly, of course. Here I did chop two medium um, fresh tomato here and I will add this now. If you're in a rush you can use tomato paste as well but for really good taste and natural taste you can always use the fresh uh, vegetarians. So now I'm gonna add garlic and ginger turmeric powder with the coriander powder and the salt as well. And we'll stir it well to get mixed all the ingredients and let it be cooked and come on the top of oil. And it will take 20 minutes until we get the final result and our curry will be ready to eat. So I didn't add any um, spices or any uh, pepper here because my kids doesn't like it. But for who, uh, who does like spicy um, curry, they can always add um, chili jet powder or fresh uh, pepper, whatever. It's, it depends on your choice and your taste. So now I will cover this frying pan and let it be cooked well. Here you go, we'll let it be cut and I will show you the final look of the curry. So here is our chicken curry is done and you can see how beautiful, nice color it is and how much it's come to the oil. And you can serve it with um, just naan or with uh, steamed ri uh, white rice. Thank you for watching and enjoy the curry.